Now here's a novel idea. You could spend an entire activity pack week in Johor Bahru without once getting stuck in gridlock. An impossibility, most locals would say. They probably don't know the life hack that is made in me. Far from the better known JB aka Jam, Bisa Arias. Welcome to this sparse suburb with Legoland at its heart and bordered by the hotspots of Eco Botanic, Puteri Harbour and Kota Iskanda Johor's equivalent of Canberra, with a plethora of state government offices and the state mosque masjid Kota Iskanda. Up until last year, it was an empty place with empty condominiums built for foreigners, as one a slash Malaysia redditor put it in 2021. Rideshare drivers would hightail it out of Medini after drop-offs. Baffled and sometimes freaked out that there wasn't and still isn't a single down to earth Kopishim in sight. As is the Malaysian way, neighborhoods typically sprout up in mere months and then Lipek Malay fall loiter over the following decade, waiting for residents and shops to trickle in. The good news for holidaymakers is that Greater Medini is approaching its peak right now, with Medini and Puteri Harbour having matured sufficiently since Legoland Malaysia Resort's September 2012 opening. While the eco-botanic township has taken just five years since its first cafes and shops opened to become one of JB's hottest hotspots with a Holland Village vibe. It helps that right next door to eco-botanic is EDU City, which hosts the universities of Newcastle, Reading and Southampton, as well as a Management Development Institute of Singapore MDIS campus. Most importantly, Medini's wide avenues are still free of congestion. Absolutely fabulous. Plan your family getaway right and avoid going further east than the city of Iskanda Puteri, which extends from Medini to Bukit Inda and into the evening slash weekend nightmarish gems around Paradigm Mall. Downtown JB and Mount Austin, consider yourself warned. The Legoland Malaysia Resort, in the heart of Medini, is, without a doubt, JB's only world-class attraction, and it's priced accordingly. There are separate charges for entry to its three main areas, with discounts for passes combining two or all three areas. Theme Park, with a rotating observation tower and roller coasters. Its 50-plus attractions are enough to fill an entire day on its own. Ideal for large families, including grandparents, who will appreciate the large dioramas of selected countries and cities, including Singapore. All built with Lego. Water Park, the world's largest Legoland water park, features slides and rides, catering to everyone from toddlers to teens. Spread out on the side of a little hillock. The water park's upper reaches offer a good view of the entire resort. A leisurely full weekday is ideal. Sea life, the aquarium, is a shorter experience good for a couple of hours. Particularly, if it's raining cats and dogs. It features 25 display tanks, recreating 11 marine habitat zones. The small mall of Medini next door to Legoland Hotel has a sizable Etta supermarket. Ben's independent grocer aka Big, a Starbucks and a few fast food joints catering to families. X Park Iskanda Putery, right behind the Sunway Big Box Retail Park, features a compact but pleasingly windy go-kart track. All completely covered, a rope course up in the rafters, rock climbing, paintball and archery. There's a driving range, too, which is popular with the expat Korean community here. Glamping chalets and an airy cafe overlooking the lake. If you're serious about go-karting, do rut down the road instead. Families have had to wait over three hours for a go-kart ride as X Park struggles to cope with weekend crowds. Just one kilometre down the road from X Park is Rat Cutting's open-air track that's more geared for serious enthusiasts. Rat sees a steady stream of Singaporean youngsters, especially during polytechnic breaks. And they offer packages which include transfer to and from Singapore. Rudd staff, however, 
don't seem to be as enthusiastic about families with young children who wander in. Square parents and pre-adolescents don't have strong Instagram game. After all, it's hard to go wrong with Eco Botanics' well-curated eateries, which include a branch of the popular downtown bakery and restaurant Seven Oaks. Meanwhile, the Eco Galleria complex finally filled up this year to add several interesting dining options, such as a Mexican restaurant, Mamacita. Other notable outlets here are Enma Cafe, The Lunch, The Five and Corgis Talk, where you can cool over their resident corgis. The area's expert presence can be felt with a half-dozen Korean-run eateries, most of which are located near Sunway Big Box. A couple of French restaurants, including Les Bouchons, in Putery Harbour and an authentic Italian trotteria. Our eco-botanic go-to has long been Manzanita Patisserie Boulangerie for its consistently good food and desserts. Its soothing ambience is a respite from the heat and traffic of JB, while its western fare may be a welcome change of pace from all the great local food. Open just this year. This small trotteria run by a mother and son team offers authentic Tuscan fare and has been filling up lately, thanks to word-of-mouth reviews. This cafe slash shop has great food and is driven by a worthy mission. All goods, mainly household items, but with clothes and toys too, are made with recycled material, while you'll have to bring your own containers for staples like rice and detergent or dishwashing liquid. It's run by Singaporean Sharana, who's run bakeries in this area for years now. Go visit Aeon Buke Inda to get your lavender pastries, if you must. But there aren't many reasons to leave Medini with Sunway Big Box Retail Park checking most boxes for shoppers. Resembling more a spread-out strip mall than a massive building like Paradigm Mall, Big Box tenants include a massive book cess, Golden Screen Cinemas GSC, Supermarket NSK, Ace Hardware and Sports Direct, while there's a drive through Starbucks just next to the mall. There are also two indoor playgrounds, with the activity center and at X Park boasting a rope course and zip lines. Legoland Hotel is, obviously, the most convenient accommodation for families planning on spending a few days exploring the entire resort. There are numerous condos nearby offering cheaper options. But it can be tricky to determine a suitable Airbnb. The best alternative is Somerset Medini Service Apartments, a short walk to Legoland and just 100m from the Starbucks and Mall of Medini. The Ramada and Pansipuri Meridian are more affordable alternatives, just one kilometer on foot from Legoland, but with unreliable street lights, which seemingly work every third night, the walk won't do with kids in tow. Rates are better at a cheaper Pristine condo facing the Mall of Medini, but be advised that it sits atop a huge podium block that's virtually abandoned. The condo entrance is at the back of the building which means having to walk around or through the incomplete building that's creepy at night. A little further south, Sunway Hotel Big Box is much more welcoming with its chandelier dawn lobby, located right in the middle of the Big Box Mall. Eco Botanic has only one hotel at the moment, the Boutique Rose Cottage Hotel.